All right, everybody, check it out. Chateau Guillard is now available on Overwatch on console. This is based off of Widowmaker's home. And um, obviously, I'm going to take Pharaoh so we can just do a walkthrough over it. You know, I have seen this map on PTR and, you know, some gameplay as well. But obviously, that's on PTR. And then when the map comes out live, you know, they may have made a couple of changes here and there. So actually wanted to do a walkthrough over it you know see if there's any anything ugh, anything interesting so I'm gonna take Farah and I have to admit I like how that new spawn system thing is how everyone's like well they digitize into the map so anyway gonna start off already gonna take a look at the out outbound scenery and kinda wondering if out there might be a future map cause you know how some if you look like let's say in Iconwald if you look far out you can see new Bonnie so who knows maybe that out there will be a future map so Anyway, these fences are obviously destructible. I can use that to my advantage as Pharah in case, you know, gotta boop some people out. And okay, so we have a large health pack here. And looking at this mansion, I have to admit, taking a look at it, kind of gives me this uh, Lara Croft Tomb Raider feel over it. So now I do know on the PTR that you can fall to your death out the map and those rocks will not save you. So just going to float around on the outside, take a look around it. And we have like a little, uh, I guess, balcony here. Got to be careful with that little crevice there. You can uh, no doubt fall into water and die. And I actually like how these fences are easily breakable versus like the wooden fences in Hanamura. Here we got a jump pad just like from Oasis. It's pretty cool. I actually like this. Um, let's see. Got a big health pack there. I'm going to be searching around. Okay, so we can fly over and cannot see inside the windows i did hear rumor about everyone trying to search for widowmaker's bedroom y'all dirty-minded people but anyway gonna come inside now and take a look at what appears to be looks like a library and maybe we'll see some easter eggs of widow here and well there goes one it's already a, fo uh, a photo of the spray that she has of her and her husband and okay so we have a laptop, and that kind of surprised me, but it is her sniper. And really can't make out the words here. Could be maybe some type of Talon mission, maybe? Oh, anyway, let's see. That looks like a satellite to receive, I guess, incoming transmissions from Talon. Some books with no names on it, and let's see. Okay, a Widowmaker briefcase. Okay, well, this is where she carries her sniper rifle in, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, looks like a couple of maybe copy machines and all that, or storage cases, whatever. Some crates. Okay, now it looks like we're in the dining room, and I'm guessing that's her family seal. Really, really, really cool. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of Lara Croft's, in a way. That, that That's the vibe I'm getting out of this, but anyway. Can't seem to do anything with that fireplace. Uh, let's see here on the table that's really blurred out can't make it out so let's see these windows you can see outside which is pretty good and for no open windows to fly through though we got a small health pack and okay this spider is still here from the PTR so obviously that's just in reference to Widowmaker whether she got bitten by a spider who knows but let's see moving on I'm gonna come here okay yeah yeah, I, re I really like how these fences are really destructible, you know, really easy. So, uh, coming back outside, and we are back out in the beginning. Okay, there goes another jump pad. And let's see, we're going to go take a look at the underground. Now, I did hear that this level was kind of based off of a Quake map. What map in specific, I don't know. I've heard of the game Quake, but never seen gameplay of it. So, seeing this on the PTR, I actually thought this was like um, a prison area. You know, I thought this was like a jail cell, but now that I'm actually looking at it, I actually see it's just a wine cellar in there. And apparently, you know, the keeping looks like wine barrels sealed up so no one takes it and all that. So who knows? Maybe Widowmaker's family used to, was, you know, dealt with wine. Anyway, got a, looks like a handprint there and another blurry book. So it looks like some Gouda, what is that, uh, Parmesan cheese? Raw Parmesan cheese? Anyway, yeah, coming back out here, here's that little area with the that top thing I was walking on and okay let's see some more photos a window to fly out of 
where and we yeah, we're back to that back jump pad but let's see if any of these photos kind of look familiar it might be a little bit hard for you to see because obviously I'm floating as Farah and it's not like Farah floats floats perfectly still so uh, let's see gonna go upstairs now and okay so we got a blue room or purple room whatever you know forgive me I am colorblind so maybe that's why we don't make her you know since she's blue maybe she's infatuated with that color now and trying to look up there and some more windows that obviously we can't you know see through so there's a little a little fly out hole here probably for ferrets and widowmakers to use you know to escape any battles and all that and yeah now we are back out here obviously plants are taking over the house and cannot fly over this fence so oh well Widowmaker does have a large home. I really like it. So let's see if there's anything else around here. There's no balconies to land on, so I'm gonna have to try to make my jetpack last. Oh yeah, this this is a really good Farah flank route. Obviously, only Farah could do this. Not not even Diva could fly this whole thing. So I mean, yeah, here's the the kitchen, and let's see if I can get close enough to see the spider without falling. So. Yeah, managed to see it a little bit. The one was kind of fogged up, and yeah, here we go back at the beginning of the map. So, really liking this now. Unfortunately, this is only a free for all map. I was hoping it would be in TDM as well, but oh well. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. I'm definitely gonna bring some free for all gameplay and stuff. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. I appreciate all the support, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.